Well, from rain to snow to sleet to sunshine, we've had it all. The weather is wild. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Reek. And I'm Lindsay Cooper. Let's go straight to Dave with the radar and a look at the weather mix. Dave, thank you very much. This summer, Columbia Regional Airport will begin offering nonstop service to the busiest airport in the world. Mayor Bob McDavid announced this morning that the airport will have a direct Delta flight to and from Atlanta, Georgia, each day starting June 7th. Camu 8's Emily Spain went to that announcement and joins us now in the studio. Emily. Well, Lindsay and Jim, it was certainly an upbeat mood at this announcement today about the new Atlanta flight. Okay, thanks, Emily. One of the chief reasons for those new flights to Atlanta is Mizzou joining the Southeastern Conference. And today, Mizzou released its full football schedule for 2012. The schedule features seven home games, and that could help local businesses. KMU 8's Dan Greenwald is live downtown Columbia to tell us how businesses are reacting. Dan. Columbia, Dan Greenwald, KMU 8 News. Okay, thanks, Dan. Five people were arrested today after a Columbia drug ring bust. The Columbia Police Department recovered about two kilograms of cocaine, 30 pounds of marijuana, two guns, and two vehicles. The multi-jurisdictional effort involved three search warrants and traffic stops. Police say there may be more charges and arrests made as the investigation continues. Today, it's hard to find any food on the shelves of a Callaway County food bank, but organizers hope getting the word out will change that. Donations have slowed significantly since the holidays, and just three months into 2012, organizers say their supplies are so low they can serve only a handful of people. The food bank serves about 1,000 people and gives out about 40,000 pounds of food per month. A food drive tomorrow could help. Bumping, colliding, jarring. If your kids play sports, you'll want to know about this risk. I think it's been, the weekend. been that way since <laughs> November, just about. Well, we seem to be dipping down into some chillier temperatures on the weekend. Yeah. yeah. All right, Dave, thank you very much. Moms will do just about anything to protect their kids. Coming up, a new program to make sure your home is safe. Brain injury patients may benefit from a drug used to treat Parkinson's disease. The drug is called amantadine hydrochloride. A new study shows it can speed up the brain recovery process. So far, the improvements were minor, but experts say for patients in unresponsive or unconscious states, this is an important first step to finding better treatments. Teens turn out to be the most group most likely to suffer concussion-related problems. Researchers in Canada studied nearly 100 concussion patients. Teens tended to show more problems with short-term memory than children and adults. Experts say teens are the most vulnerable because their brains are developing rapidly. A home screening can lower the risk of lead poisoning for mothers-to-be and their babies. A certified expert inspected homes for a group of pregnant women in St. Louis. He helped remove any lead-based paint he detected. Researchers found babies born in these homes have lower rates of poisoning and blood lead levels than other babies. Children exposed to lead could have decreased intelligence. For pregnant women trying to quit smoking, nicotine patches are not the answer. Researchers studied 1,000 pregnant women who smoked five or more cigarettes a day. They found the patches did not increase the chance of quitting more than placebo treatments. Experts say women can try stress management or social media programs as alternative strategies. Does the phrase green eggs and ham sound familiar to you? If so, you might already know today is Dr. Seuss's birthday. About 30 children wished the beloved author a happy birthday this morning at the Missouri River Regional Library. In honor of Dr. Seuss, today is Read Across America Day, a national event celebrating reading. Every March 2nd, children across the U.S. spend the day perusing the shelves at their local schools and libraries. The kids in Jeff City took part by reading The Lorax, watching The Cat in the Hat, and sporting tall red and white hats. It's sort of like it doesn't matter how old you are or how young, everyone knows Dr. Seuss. He will live yes. forever. And everyone has a favorite Dr. Seuss book, too, I believe. Green eggs and ham. All right, we'll see you back here at six. <laughs> uh,